You know, for a lot of people in the conspiratorium, we often become, I think, a slave to cliche and expression and aphorisms and apothems and witty little bromides and chestnuts and phrases. And after a while, they don't really mean anything. And I try to stay away from cliches as much as possible. But there are two phrases, two expressions, two sayings, witticisms perhaps, philosophies, which I use almost daily. And it's become almost a spiritual mantra to me. The first, the first is Tolstoy, who said history would be a wonderful thing if only it were true. I love that. It says it all. But the best one is from a 1962 movie called The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, and it was directed by John Ford. John Ford was a monster. I'm going to put in this a little link to a Peter Bogdanovich uh, uh, lecture that he gave on John Ford, whom he knew and loved. John Ford was the greatest director of all time. He made John Wayne. He he did 150 movies over a 50-year career. He holds a record for four best directors, Oscars. I mean, he was a monster. And in this movie, this was in 1962. You know what happened in 1963. And he was on to something in Westerns, which was his, his, uh, his uh, genre. But Western started to take on a kind of a darker tale. It, it wasn't the, uh, the same. Uh, John Wayne, or Duke Wayne as we call him, had a hard time with the story of high noon and cowardice. And it was at the, this was coming off of the Huack and McCarthy hearing. Anyway, enough with the prefatory. But there's a scene, and please, just watch this movie. The scene is Jimmy Stewart, who is returning uh, to his hometown or to returning to his town for the funeral of this kind of a rather insignificant person. Jimmy Stewart was living under the myth, turns out to be a myth, the story that he was responsible for killing this horrible gunslinger and ne'er do well, this terrible criminal by the name of Liberty Valance, who was played by Lee Marvin, who was just great. Well, it turns out it's not true. I'm not, this is, there's no spoiler alert here. Please watch this. And this is the scene where Jimmy Stewart basically comes clean and says, look, you really need to know the truth about something that I have been carrying with me, the substance of which is my claim to fame, a story which, as you will see, is apocryphal. A story which never happened. And yet, it's it's the foundation of who I am. This is the famous scene. Are you ready? Take note. Well, you know the rest of it. I went to Washington. We won statehood. I became the first governor. Three terms as governor, two terms in the Senate, ambassador to the court of St. James, back again to the Senate, and a man who, with a snap of his fingers, could be the next vice president of the United States. You're not going to use the story, Mr. Scott? No, sir. This is the West, sir. When the legend becomes fact, print the legend. He's right, Ranch. When the legend becomes fact, print the legend. Say it one more time. When the legend becomes fact, 
print the ledger. I did a little review of this, and our friends at AI, this place called AI, said that it encapsulates the movie's main theme, that truth is only meaningful if it agrees with what the public wants to hear. I would beg to differ just a little bit. I would beg to differ just a little bit. It's not what the public wants to hear. It's what the shadow government and the leaders and the people who control the facts is what they want you to hear and what they want you to know and what they want you to believe. It's not the public. The public has nothing to do with it. The public has absolutely nothing to do with what is and isn't accepted. And truth has nothing to do with what is and isn't believed or expected or understood. We live in a world of lies that are in shades and hues and dimensions that we never even thought remotely possible. I don't know even if anything is true. I don't know if anything is true. I could go through it. I can explain, show you examples of how we repeat things also through rote and through repetition. Everything from full moons cause crime rates to spike and how olive oil is good for the heart and never go swimming after you've eaten. Remember that when you were a kid, people still believe that and you believe it. And, and <clears throat> once it's said, it becomes repeated. And it's also when the legend or the falsity becomes fact, print it, repeat it, just say it. In fact, you are appreciated much more if you repeat conventional wisdom than if you dare to go against it. If you go against, if you dare to counter conventional wisdom, no matter what it is, whether it's about health or vaccines or politics or history or God or the Constitution or anything, if you dare, remember this, if you dare counter that, you'll run into the undergirdings of the benefits of printing the legend. And remember, you always know you're correct when people yell at you, when people call you crazy. My third favorite is you only take flack when you're over the target, which is true. So just remember this. And if you have the chance, if you have the chance, if you are, if it's a, uh, a day that you have some time off, watch this film. Learn about John, John Ford. John, th there is nothing today. Today's films, with all due respect to that piece of crap, Oppenheimer, this, where cinematic and hype outweigh performance and message. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Thanks for watching. Make note of this. Do me a favor, please, if you could, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new videos. And whatever you do, I ask you right now specifically to comment as you see fit.